you have learned that in a saturated solution, if the concentration of any one of the ions is decreased, then, as per the Le Chatelier's principle, more salt dissolves and the equilibrium shifts towards the right till Ksp becomes equal to Qsp. On the other hand, if the concentration of any one of the ions is increased by adding an electrolyte, then, the equilibrium shifts towards the left according to the Le Chatelier's principle till Ksp becomes equal to Qsp. The common ion effect is used for the complete precipitation of one of the ions as its sparingly soluble salt with a very low value of solubility product for gravimetric estimation. For example, Silver ions are precipitated as silver chloride, barium ions as barium sulfate and ferric ion as ferric chloride or ferric sulfate. The common ion effect is not only used in the quantitative analysis of compounds but is also for their purification. For example, sodium chloride along with impurities such as sodium sulfate and magnesium sulfate is purified by applying this principle. When hydrogen chloride gas is passed through a saturated solution of sodium chloride, the precipitation of sodium chloride increases and dissociation of sodium chloride decreases due to the chloride ion which acts as a common ion. Thus, the sodium chloride obtained is free from impurities. The solubility of salts of weak acids like phosphates increases with an increase in the concentration of H plus ions or a decrease in the pH. This happens because the anionic part of the salt reacts with H plus ions to form the salt, such that the equilibrium shifts towards the right side. This means that the solubility of the salt increases so as to make Ksp equal to Qsp. Now, let's derive a relation between the solubility and H plus ion concentration for a mixture of a weak acid and its salt. Let's take a mixture of weak acid HX and its salt MX. MX ionizes to give M plus ions and X minus ions. Then Ksp is equal to the product of molar concentration of M plus ions and X minus ions. HX ionizes to give H plus ions and X minus ions. Then, Ka is equal to product of molar concentrations of H plus and X minus divided by HX concentration. On rearranging the equation, we get X minus divided by HX equal to Ka divided by H plus. Taking inverse of both the sides, and adding 1, we get Hx divided by x minus plus 1 is equal to H plus divided by Ka plus 1. This can be written as Hx plus x minus divided by x minus is equal to H plus Ka divided by Ka. Now, on taking inverse, we get x minus divided by x minus plus hx is equal to ka divided by ka plus h plus is equal to f. At a given pH, if the solubility is taken as s, then ksp is equal to the product of s and fs. That is, equal to product of s square and f 
Therefore, solubility is equal to square root of Ksp divided by F. On rearranging the equation, we get solubility S is equal to product of Ksp and H plus plus Ka divided by Ka whole to the power half. So we can conclude that solubility increases with a decrease in pH or an increase in H plus ion concentration.